Shalom Vrach, everybody. We are reaching the last days of Sukkot. Now is Hoshana Rabbah. Very special day. We are able to basically seal all the goodness we want to seal to close the judgment for good. I know we did that on Yom Kippur, but now it's even stronger because it's on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's coming more through judgment and it's serious, even though we're joyful, but it's also that serious you feel it. Sukkot is the time of our joy. It's called that in the Torah. V'samachta v'chagecha. It says it three times, specifically on Sukkot. And it has, even though in the olden days it, it was with the temple, in our times it has nothing to do with the temple because we don't have the temple. So it's about being sameach, uh, being happy, even in our modern lives, wherever we are, whether we're in Israel or not in Israel, it's to bring that joy, it's to feel that joy. And these days are helping seal the joy for the entire coming year. So we can have this joy in our lives and give us the power to overcome any challenges we may face, any difficulties we may be going through. This is where we get the power, the inner power, the inner resolve to just power through and be powerful and with joy. Because simcha poretz et geder. The simcha breaks through all the boundaries. So the idea is that now we're also coming on Shmini Atzeret and Simchat Torah. Shmini Atzeret, Simchat Torah, this is two days outside of Israel. In Israel, they celebrate it as one day. The Torah calls Bayom Shmini. it says, Atzeret Yitiel Lachem. On the eighth day of the Sukkot holiday, there should be a, a stopping for you. Stop, you have another Yom Tov. But really... It also means that it will be an in-gathering. You're going to gather in all these things you've been doing on Sukkot, doing the Lulav and the Trog and the Hallel, and bring it inside of you. We, 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 in Israel, they don't sit in the Sukkah. Outside of Israel, we only sit in the Sukkah from the doubt. So really, it's all of that surrounding energy, because the Sukkah surrounds us and is around us. We're bringing it inside of us. It's coming inside of us on a more in a more internal way. We can feel it in a more eternal way. And that helps it translate to the rest of the year also. And that's why we dance with the Torah. That we're saying, well, we know we read the Torah and understand the Torah. But here we're showing we're dancing with Torah. It's going around us. It's going above us also. It's going inside of us. The Torah is part of our life. The Torah gives us spiritual sustenance, which leads to physical sustenance. And Bezor Hashem, this simcha, this joy will carry on through the year. It's Tavshin Pei Dalet 5784. In Hebrew, Tavshin Pei Dalet Latot. May God open up all the doors for us and lift us up and carry us and bless us. God bless you all. Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom.